Hello, all of you people out there watching me. I'm Michael Berryman. And you know where I am? You don't know where I am, I'll tell you. I'm at the Mountain High Film Festival here in Colorado. I wish you were here. And you know what? I'll tell you. You're watching Groovy TV. Woo! Hey, this is Groovy. I'm here with the legendary Michael Berryman here at the Alamo Draft House in Denver, Colorado. How the heck are you, man? I'm doing really great, man. The Alamo Draft House is where you want to be. They got good food, they got good, good beer, they got you. Well, they have excellent, excellent um, brewskis. Mm -hmm. you, you still call them brewskis, right? Oh, I do. Yeah, IPA, this is the land of IPA, man. Uh, they have wonderful, wonderful uh, short films, mm -hmm. the film festival, they're, they're growing all over the country because we need independent film. Oh, absolutely. Because some of that stuff on the telly is pretty god-awful. It's basically rubbish. You're very kind. <laughs> He's very kind. Can I say poop on this channel? I don't know. Can I? <laughs> no, you cannot. Dang it all. <laughs> right on, man. So how's the, how's the festival been treating you so far? Festival is great. I, 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 I like to go to as many as I can in the course of a year because I meet young and up-and-coming filmmakers, good right. storytellers, and they ask for great questions at the Q&As and the panels. Right. Some of those very, very best questions. They're very insightful. And we've lost a lot of the marquee, mon pa, privately owned theaters across the United States. We've lost most of our drive-ins. Oh, yeah. Now they're flea markets. But Actually, there is not to interrupt, but the yeah. very last drive-in in Colorado just closed. Oh, that's so sad. The yeah, last one ever. Wow. Yeah. Well, the resurgence, I think, would be at the film festivals, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. seriously. This is as close as we're going to get to independent these days, I think. I think so, but, you know, there is Netflix. I mean, you can download stuff. I mean, the more they try to squeeze us, the more we just sort of pop out like a, we're like a, a, a really good fungus <laughs> among us. I think you just rephrased Star Wars somehow. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, so you've illustrious career, done so much, but it looks like you have just a ton coming up, too. What, tell me about all your projects. Well, there is a possibility I could be on the Sci-Fi Channel's new show called Z Nation. They're supposedly uh, typing something away. Uh, I don't have a green light yet, but I'm really hoping to get on that. So if you're on Facebook or social media, uh, Twitter, Tweet, Twerp, Yelp, whatever it is you do, get a hold of Sci-Fi Channel and say, we want to see Michael Berryman on Z Nation because that would be very groovy. That'd be really incredible. What's Z Nation all about? Can you say it? Yes, I can. It's uh, a zombie apocalypse, and we have our band of heroes and a gentleman who got bit by zombies, not turning into a zombie, so mm -hmm. they have to get him from the East Coast to the West Coast nice. safely so they can have a cure, you nice. know, take his blood and make a cure. Are you one of the good guys? I don't know yet. I'm hoping. Uh, That'd um, be cool. Yeah, I, you never know. Right. You know, they could kill me off, but I could always come back as a zombie if the, <laughs> if the fans will just flood and smother uh, Sci-Fi Channel about Michael Berryman being in Z Nation. I think we have a goal now to make that happen. Make that happen, please. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I mean, uh, I, when I was a kid, I met Rod Serling. Oh wow. Yeah, back in the day, live TV. I, I met him at a. 31 Flavors ice cream parlor after you'd done a live taping and I was really nervous so I didn't know how to approach him so I just went do 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 and he ran away and then I said please don't run away uh, I want to thank you and he goes he, said, he was a chain smoker unfortunately he goes thank me for what I was nervous so I said something very intelligent I said your brain and he wanted to run away again I go I'm nervous and he goes Hey, kid, look, what are you trying to tell me? Yeah, you tell really good stories, man. And he goes, yeah, which one? So 25 minutes later, he says, well, be, uh, be looking for my new show. It's called Night Gallery. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, he was a very interesting guy. Yeah. That's awesome. But he was a chain smoker. Uh -huh. Yeah. You don't smoke, do you? No, I don't. You don't chew tobacco, do you? No, I don't. Do you? He's clean cut all the way. I can tell. Yeah, no, that, that's where this gut came from. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I said clean cut. I didn't say you walked away from the uh, counter. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much fun having fun at your expense. That's what I'm here for, man. That's right. 
<laughs> well, there's one other thing, man. This shirt is amazing. It's I, I've seen a lot of good shirts here today, but Blade Runner and the uh, the back. I'm going to show you the back. It's incredible. I do not wear this at airports, and this is the reason why. <laughs> oh, that is badass. Yeah, TSA would uh, would frown on that. <laughs> awesome, man. Thank you so much it's for your my time. Pleasure. Cheers. Right. Now go to the movies. Yeah. This is Groovy. This is the legendary, the iconic. Michael oh, Groovy Berryman. <laughs> Gro Gro Michael Groovyman? We're watching uh, Groovy TV. We are. That makes you cool. You should watch it too, man. How do I do that? I go to groovy.tv. Groovy.tv. 